Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I am coming up with a new tutorial on rigging a bottle in Maya. So I am creating this tutorial on viewers request. So let's get started. <clears throat> so first of all let's create a bottle over here. So hope you are aware with uh, Maya basics. So let's just create a cylinder. We will be modeling a basic mod bottle first. Then we will be doing the rigging part. So I'll just extrude it up. Let's extrude this up. R and slightly just scale this. Shift and drag. <coughs> Double click on it. Let's go into this and let's give bevel. I can slightly increase the bevel stuff again select this select the edges the top edges <coughs> exclude this and let's again give bevel and slightly reduce the fraction Again just give bevel, so I will be just assigning a bevel, again assign a bevel, <coughs> now I will just go into this and I will just give a smooth over here, so I will go into this, delete all by type. I'll delete the history. So whenever you are going to start up with the rigging over here, very first of all, let's go into this. Uh, let's set to the center pivot. And very important, you need to freeze the transformations. So whenever you freeze the transformations, as you can see the translate uh, properties, the X, Y, Z. You need to freeze this. So you can just go into modify and let's freeze it. So it will be at zero. And again go over here and reset it it will come to its original position so let's go into this rigging over here into the rigging part go into the skeleton create joints and I'll activate this joints option so I can just see the joints so I have just uh, you know created a wireframe even if you don't create a wireframe still you will be able to see the joints so I'll just uh, create some joints over here so let's just create some joints in this way so after you have created this joints let's go to this and place it at the center of this after that very important go into modify and you have a property that is freeze transformation so now what I have done is I have freeze this bone transformation over here select the bones select the bottle let's go into skin and we have a property over here called bind skin so I'll just click over here and I'll just bind skin this so you can even rename the bones first I'll just bind skin it so once you bind it now you will see that now if you go into any bone so this is your parent bone the main bone this is your child this is a parent of this this is a parent of this so whenever you select the parent it's going to rotate when you select the child the parent doesn't rotate can you see yeah so that how that's how it's going to uh, function over here so you select this and you try to rotate it can you see the rotations that can be done <coughs> so that is a, a possible way over here now let's go into this curves let's take a curve over here that's a knob circle let's just drag it over here we can just snap it with this so you can easily just snap it slightly I'll just scale this so we are going to create this controllers over here 
so very important i'll press control d i'll press v and snap it with this control d for duplicate snap it with this control d snap it with this so we have to uh, snap all of this so you want to put over here you can put it up also not a problem so now again select this all controllers so select this all controllers and go into modify let's say freeze transformations so now what I'll be doing is I'm going to make this as a main parent so for making it as a parent you need to understand the concept of a parent and child very important if you have a box over here example and if you have a cylinder so if you want that this has to be a parent of this you can select this first shift select this and press P so now you see that this is a parent of this so whenever the parent will move the child will also move but the child can move individually so this is how it works even if you try to rotate it so this is a parent child relationship over here so we do the same thing in the rigging stuff also so you can make multiple parents now you can say this will individually move if you try to move it over here it will move till here but once you select this and if you try to move this this is going to move together so the same way we are going to do the same way over here also so this is going to be parent of all this three so select this 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 and this and press P so now you select this now you can see this is a parent now select this controller shift select this you can go into this and also give a constraint as a parent constraint select this you can give a parent constraint so select this shift select this bone and we have a constraint called parent constraint select this controller select this bone and we will give a parent constraint so once you have assigned a parent constraint now you can see that I can individually rotate all my controllers with that now also we need to parent this with this so let's press P again with this to this press P so you can see as you can see now what we have done over here is like if you look at it clearly you will see that so now you can see that this can be moved easily this can be rotated so this is your main parent this is your child so this is a parent of this so we have utilized this parent child relationship over here you can easily use it in this way so if you want to rotate and you want to animate something that can be done so as you can see we have done this now you can off this so you don't need to select the bones you just need to select the controllers so you can even move it you can even animate it so that can be easily done you can even stretch it so whatever possible ways you want you, that can be done over here so we can just uh, utilize this option for rigging a bottle so as we have gone through how to model a bottle how to assign the bones how to freeze the transformations how to bind the skin with a bottle how to assign this controllers the parent child relationship with the controllers and also uh, we have gone through one constraint that is a parent constraint so we'll, we are utilizing this parent constraint with a bone so parent constraint or parent can be translated can be rotated so there are two things in this parent so this way we can work it and we can finalize this stuff so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so this is a example of a bottle rig so i'll be coming up with many more tutorials on rigging also so simultaneously our 3d 3ds max tutorials will also go on with it 
so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so if you have any doubts please put it in the comment section and if you are not subscribed my youtube channel please do subscribe so as you can see the transformations it is all at the zero zero because of the freeze transformations if you want to come out of that you can just select this you can go into skin and unbind it so once you click on unbind you will see that the bottle and this bone will get separate so we can just unbind the elements in this way as required all right so thanks for watching this tutorial